I'm Darren Brooks. I'm Curtis Short. Welcome to Unofficial Review. Today we're going to talk about... Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear is right. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, what? I was supposed to say Captain America. <laughs> With their <laughs> soldier. <laughs> Dildo. Right. <laughs> I'll shit yourself. <laughs> I'm Chris Shore. Welcome to Unofficial Review. Today we're going to talk about Thor, The Dark World. Got yep. <laughs> this is the sequel, obviously, <laughs> to Thor and the second in Phase 2. Yep. And it was shit. Terrible. So basically the plot is, Thor from the first one was stuck because he was stuck at Asgard because the He broke the Bifrost. Yeah, the Bifrost. Yeah. So when Jean gets in trouble on Earth, because she's a nosy bitch, <laughs> basically he has to come back and try and help her because she's found one of the Infinity Stones. Which one is it? The Reality Stone. The Reality Stone. But you don't know that at the time. No, you don't. But Until the very end of the yeah. stone, you actually find out. That I think that's the first word yeah. of Infinity Stone. So basically, this movie was just... Without like giving anything away, it was basically just to introduce that the stone. Yeah, but I think it could have been done far better. It really could have been done yeah. far better. Like, but, there's some really good ideas with the whole dark elves and stuff, mm -hmm. and the history behind them. But they're throwaway villains. Yeah, like literally, the main guy wasn't even the biggest body. No, who was the biggest body? <laughs> like a devilly looking thing. Like, oh yeah, uh, it's like a brute. Yeah, a brute thing that was literally impossible to kill, yeah. except for what they done. Ah, uh, and then they're going to like London and stuff, and it's just it wasn't all yeah, an interesting film. No. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's really it's a three that is a real downer in the MCU. Yeah. Franchise, like I know I went back and watched Thor one and thought it was really good after thinking it was shit, but yeah. this is still yeah, we, shit. See, I didn't like Thor two the first time I watched it. I never rewatched it. Yeah. So you only watched the ones. I only watched the ones. So the other night we went back and we thought, right, have few drinks, have watch this, few yeah. drinks, it'll make it better. Sat there wishing it would end. I know. And that was even. I think we were looking at the clock going, "What the fuck's this yeah. film over?" Because it just dragged yeah. them all. It really did. Yeah. Like it just could have, like like we said, it could have been done far better. Yeah. Far far. So better. we haven't talked much about the plot. That was mainly most of the reviews, but the plot is so bland and crap. It just you isn't really worth really? talking about. Yeah. To be honest, the only thing is you get introduced to. The reality stone, and at the very end, post credit scene, you see them, like two of his mates, handing the reality stone to the collector, who you'll come across in Guardians it's, of the Galaxy. Ba yeah, basically, it's showing you where it went. Yeah, that's the um, only use this film yeah, has. Yeah, literally, and it wasn't even in the film; it was the cutting. Yeah. So this film stars again Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Natalie Portman as Jean. Yeah. Not one of her better. No, she's, I think she's a really bland yeah. character in this film, and yeah. the first one to be honest. They didn't really use her, right? No, like she's not the apartment owner, she <clears throat> is in a really good role, you can tell, because she yeah. is a great thrives. actress. What? She thrives. Thrives, I thought you said for her eyes. <laughs> that was a very right. specific thing to pick okay. up. You also have Tom Hiddleston again as Loki, Great and actor. he, I think he actually plays a better role as Loki in this film than he yeah. has in any of the other ones. That's probably one Apparently, of the few things you can pick out. They are making a TV show about him. Loki. Yeah, yeah. But then Black Widow, I've heard a movie and a TV show, so I don't know which one it will be. See, I don't like the Marvel TV shows in all honesty. No. Like I give up on Agents of the Shield when it was done series two, I and think the Netflix ones I don't want. A movie. Of them. Yeah, I'd for a movie. I'd watch a movie. I'd go to watch a movie more than I'd but watch then, a TV show. Yeah, well, because they like, but really, realistically, could he carry him? I don't think he could. Yeah, exactly. like Tom Hiddleston is a great he could actor. He could, but the character, but I mean, no, because he also the story of him was he got adopted by, oh. so it would really just be there's no real story to no. tell. No, it'd be a continuation right? of whatever he's yeah, doing. Yeah, basically. And you know what we're not really that yeah. like, are we? <laughs> no, so maybe a TV show might be better. Yeah, but. I think so. <clears throat> Plus he died at the end, of, or at the beginning of the yeah. fucking Infinity War. They also have Stalin Skarsgård, and he's coming back like he was in Avengers, oh, going... Okay then, there you go. <clears throat> What's it doing? <laughs> you also have... <laughs> Stellan Skarsgård? Yeah. 
as Ethan? Ian? Eric. Eric. Slavic. You also have him as Eric. I fucked that up. <laughs> do I'll do it again. Yeah. yeah. Right. You also you also have Stalin Skyscore. I can't say his name. Who plays Eric? Salvik. Salvik? Yeah. Right, well, you on second basis, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wanted to do the next one. Then I'll do this one. <laughs> okay. Right. <clears throat> you also have. Fuck's sake, what's the name? <laughs> you also have Stalin Skazgarg, who is playing Eric Salvik. He first showed up in the first Thor film as one of the scientists. Mm -hmm. He's also in Avengers, but he was taken over by Loki in the Avengers to help him with the whole Tesseract shit and all. So in this it's film, like he's his. mental. It's basically his post traumatic stress. Yeah, know, he's just yes. going crazy basically. Yeah. And to be honest, while well, I think we were talking most of the time he was on the screen because his scenes were really boring. Awful. Awful. Yeah. Like the acting, like, he is a brilliant actor, but he just couldn't play that well. No, it was a bit silly, just yeah. so it was. And it, they really dumbed down the character that could have been I done. Quite like the, the way that where your guy goes, What happened to you? He goes, Oh, he's like, You're actually pretty good. He's like, I had a god inside me or something. Yeah. Like, in my mind or something. It was, you also have Anthony Hopkins as Odin. Yep. Thor's father. <laughs> if you don't know. Yeah, well, you knew. Yeah. And he's basically just out of the show. Yeah, he is. <laughs> You're not worthy. You also, you also have Zachary Levi shows up in this film. Who was he out of recently? Shazam. Shazam? Yeah, he's Shazam. Yes. He's also on the TV series Chuck, which I show. highly recommend oh, you go Chuck watch. It's fucking great. Every I season is good. Watch it again. I have it all. DVD. It's class. It's one of my few TV series I went out of my way to own. Sort yeah. of thing. But yeah, that's your woman out. <laughs> <laughs> that's the basic cast for yeah. Thor of the Dark World. Just a few stats then. The budget for this movie was 170 million US dollars. So it went down a bit from Iron Man 3. Mm -hmm. And it grossed at 206 million US dollars. Right. So it's made about 36,000. Uh, 36 like, million. That's not bad, but no. for a Marvel yeah. film, it, it goes to show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Plus, the fact that it had less money than Iron Man 3, but yet it had more CGI and stuff on it. It's weird, a bit yeah. strange. You've also been paying the actors less. Probably because they're not as big as yeah. Donnie Jr. They weren't carrying the franchise as he was. Yeah, that, the budget probably was his play, you know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> as a huge Thor lover, it did let me down. But the best part about this movie was they brought it back with a third one. Yeah. Because it was my favourite. <laughs> like, it was amazing. So, my thoughts on this one is you have to kind of endure it. To pass it. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So. I think whenever I watched this one the first time, I really didn't like it. Watching it again, I had hope that maybe it'll be a bit better. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> it was shit. We were both wrong. We were both wrong. And wrong it almost tarnishes the MCU in a way because like this film came out before Winter Soldier, which yeah. is a, a really good film as far as I remember. I haven't seen it in ages. But the, the idea of watching this film is so off putting. But it kind of makes you, whenever you think about other films that lead up to the MCU, you're kind of like, ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like, I almost wasn't looking forward to watching more MCU films because of this film. Yeah, it kind of thumbs up. Yeah, but then I know the other ones are so much better. Yeah, so you kind of... Yeah. But this here one, it was just, I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it's not a great film by any means. It was directed by Alan Taylor, who before this had only really done TV film or TV shows, like directed the episodes yeah. of TV shows. It's weird how he got to do yeah. this, but then he didn't he did this. all of it, did he? No, and well, then he I also did Terminator Genesis, which goes to say a lot about him. Ooh. But in other words, he's also done Game of Thrones episodes, Ooh. but I then he might have done the shit ones. Then, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. So. so yeah, he's not really got much going for him. Would you add to your collection? Um, at some point, yeah. yeah when well, it's cheap. But I'm in no rush for it. Yeah. It'll be whenever the MCU is sort of starting to slow down or something. Yeah. Works. If it's like two quid on Blu ray or four yeah. quid on Blu ray, think about it. That'd be it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you give it out of 10? Out of 10, it's getting a sloppy 5. 
I was gonna go five. I thought yeah. you were lower. I don't think I could go lower than five. I know. I'd... That's like I don't. I think you'd have to be a real terrible movie to go below five. Yeah. I think. So I'll go five too. Yeah. So that's a good step yeah. down from definitely yeah. the other films. Like, <laughs> well, I don't. Know. But it's if you want to know really what's going on with it, that's the only reason you need to watch it is because of, of the least, reality stuff. Yeah. And Loki is Groot is Groot. 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 Loki's really good in it. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. There is some good scenes in it. Yeah, some good scenes, but scenes. then good scenes don't make a movie. Yeah, they don't make a movie. All the shit, that's not. So yeah, that was our review on Thor The Dark World. Join us next time where we'll talk about Captain America Winter Soldier. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Bye.